What's up YouTube? I'm back here for another video with Jess and Jody from Living the Keys Life. We're here in their beautiful home in Big Pine and we had an awesome day fishing. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check out that video. We caught Jack Creval, Blue Runner, mackerel. We just ate the mackerel and it was amazing. And now we're going to do a special cooking video where we're going to take that fish that's fresh, just caught literally a couple hours ago, as you can tell by me and Jess are a little pink, maybe. We got a little bit of sun. But anyway, so I'm gonna cook the Blue Runner in a special fish taco recipe that I've been dying to share with you guys. They're gonna cook the Jack Herval in a special, like, what was it? The teriyaki. Teriyaki. So I'm gonna cook first, then they're gonna cook next. We're both cooking different types of fish, so it's gonna be really exciting to compare the two as well as the fish flavors and the recipe but I want you guys to pay attention throughout this whole video and comment below what you would prefer, what you think is better, which you think is more practical, which you think you would do for your friends or your family, what you would actually cook yourself, the teriyaki or the tacos, comment below. All right, you guys, just so you know what they both look like, this here is the blue runner. That looks like your standard fish meat, like it could be good and you guys I, have eaten it before. I really like it. It's, okay. it's, a, it's definitely a firmer fish. And I know a lot of people think that it's a trash fish, but it's really catching on. I love it. Super mild, super good. Interesting. This is the Jack Herval, and what do you guys think about the way that looks? <laughs> that's red. Yeah. You know, that, that's red. That's, that's redder than your cheeks right now. This is going to be, <laughs> and that's saying something. This is going to be interesting because this is also considered a trash fish, and it's a little more questionable if it's going to be good or not. So we're going to give you our honest opinions probably are honest reactions too so that's going to be good to eating it for the first time so i think your way definitely with this fish is going to be more pure yeah we're going <laughs> to i think we're going to need to hide some of this fish flavor <laughs> and i think the teriyaki will definitely do that we've done uh, we've actually done tuna believe it or not i know you don't don't hate <laughs> me because we cook tuna but you still just seared it yeah we're going to cook that though with teriyaki so yeah we'll see Awesome. Let's try it. You're going to be the judge. <laughs> What's up guys. So today I'm going to show you my very special fish taco recipe. I'm kind of mixing two recipes to make it this way and using blue runner for it for the first time. So it's going to be interesting, but I have a feeling it's going to be really good. So first off, I got some of the messy things out of the way and I mixed one and a half cup of flour a quarter cup of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in here and then I'm going to just mix it up. This is what I'm going to put the fish in before I stick it in the oil, which I'm gonna heat the pan up with the oil, get that nice and hot before I fry the fish in there. So it's gonna be kind of like lightly fried fish uh, with some cabbage, some lime juice, maybe a little bit of rice, and then some special mayonnaise-based like Asian style sauce. So it's gonna be different for a fish taco recipe. It's gonna be interesting and I think it's gonna be really good. One more thing, I also added one and a quarter cups of water into here. So that's why it's of this consistency. All right, so we got an upgrade from the spoon. We have a whisk, <laughs> it's much better. This way we get this like pretty smooth throughout before we put the fish on it. That looks pretty good to me. Now let's see if we can get some oil in the pan. Just using regular vegetable oil here. Okay, going to put that pretty high for now. Get, let that oil get really hot. This way when the fish is ready to go, I can just toss it in there. It's gonna cook really fast because it's pretty thin and it's gonna be good. Okay, next up we're going to make the mayonnaise sauce. Now there, there's another fish taco recipe I will show you guys when I get the recipe that has a little bit of a different um, sauce to it. This is the most similar one that I could find on Google. I have that recipe on a card in Utah, so obviously it's not here, but this is still gonna be really awesome, really good sauce. So basically I'm just gonna take a couple scoops of mayonnaise, you don't even need to measure it. Mayonnaise is good with everything, honestly. Just like that. Okay, next up, I'm going to take one tablespoon of sesame oil. Brand new sesame oil. 
Next up, one tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, and last for this special sauce is just a little bit of this ginger here that comes in a tube. I'm not even gonna measure it, just, it calls for like a half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna use like that much. And mix it all up. It smells really good. Soy sauce and sesame oil kind of just smell good, <laughs> to be honest. Looks kind of gross at the moment, but it'll be good, I promise. Mm, so good. That's gonna be awesome. All right, I'm gonna finally dip the fish in this and put it in the pan because the oil in the pan is hot now. So I'm gonna get that going and then I'm gonna chop up some cilantro and cabbage to garnish it off. All right, time to put the blue runner right here in the hot oil. This is a, this could be the messiest part. So I'm just gonna dip it in this way. Get plenty of the mixture on there. And put it right in. You guys know me from the trailer cooking videos. If there's a really messy way to do something, it's probably the way I'm gonna do it. All right, you guys, while that's cooking, I'm gonna keep a close eye on it because we don't wanna burn it and uh, it's gonna cook pretty fast, but I'm gonna cut up the cabbage. This is gonna add a little bit of crunch to everything. And then I'm gonna cut up the cilantro as well as some limes. And we don't need a ton of this, honestly, probably that will work just cause we're gonna use little shreds of it. And then this again is not needed, but I like adding rice to things, especially tacos. Even as a side, I might sprinkle some in my taco. This is just the simple, really easy, ready rice, 90 seconds in the microwave, cause why complicate it? Do you guys notice how she wanted to make sure that the fish was cooked through, even though 36 inches away, we're eating raw fish. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that funny? Let's see how they taste. I'm gonna start it out with a warm tortilla. Add a little bit of sauce down here like that. Let's see, then we'll add some fish. I'm gonna break it up just so it like fits in the taco nicely. Then we're gonna add a little cabbage. Sprinkle it on like that. Like I said, give it some crunch. A little cilantro, freshen it up. Even though the fish was caught literally a couple hours ago. <laughs> Let's take some lime. A little sprinkle of rice. All right, guys, we all have a taco. We're gonna take our first bites right now and give you our honest, raw opinions. Hopefully they're not too harsh. Now, she, you know, <laughs> she made us fish tacos and we live in the Keys, so we eat fish tacos mm. probably like once a week. So no pressure, True. no pressure. Mm. That sauce is really good. I would say the ginger really. Yeah, it's unique, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, like you said, a very like an Asian inspired mm -hmm. taco. And that is. I like it. You did well. You did well. <laughs> okay, good. I much prefer the Blue Runner this way than how you cooked it when we tried <laughs> it before. How do you have it last time? Just in you know, oil. Um, not in oil. Um, just a little bit of oil and butter. Oh, okay. No batter, no nothing, you just salt and it. pepper. All right, guys, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm gonna stuff my face with this right now, but we're gonna switch right now. Jody is going to start cooking his Jack Creval in his special teriyaki way, so I'm excited to try that. We're all just having one taco, so we're staying, we're, we're leaving room, yeah. you know? <laughs> and we had the appetizer, sushi, sashimi appetizer, yeah. taco. But overall, the taco was a success, just saying.
We just may have to have more tacos if this Jack Creval doesn't go out. And go out. <laughs> All right, it's my turn now. So I'm gonna make Jack Creval, which we've never cooked or tried before. So uh, by looking at the fish, very red, I think it's gonna need some help because I think it's gonna be very fishy flavor. So we're gonna mask that with some teriyaki sauce, homemade teriyaki sauce. This is an, uh, uh, I got this recipe uh, from Land Shark Fishing. Several of you guys probably heard of Land Shark Fishing before but I've tweaked it just a little bit to fit, to fit our tastes. One half a cup of water. Yes, it's a full cup measuring cup, but I'm only putting it halfway. And then a half a cup of soy sauce. We need about a tablespoon of garlic powder. About that. All right, we're gonna use one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar, and then one quarter teaspoon of ginger. And to find the stuff in the tube, it's way a lot easier than uh, shredding that stuff up and everything. So, and then we're just gonna whisk this together, break up the ginger, and then we need about two thirds cup of brown sugar and that's what gives it that sticky sweet flavor that we all like so much and then whisk it all together so the fish may be horrible but the teriyaki sauce is amazing so Ooh, Lord. so the jack creval was very red and it had a lot of bloodline that i had to cut off but once i finally got it all cut off it became a little less red, but as you can see, it's still a very red meat. So we are going to marinate this in our teriyaki sauce. We're gonna marinate it for about an hour and that's gonna let it soak in real good. And, uh, but to the luxury of video, it'll be a lot faster. All right, so we're just gonna hit this grill with a little bit of uh, oil spray. Little flame, little flame. You never hurt nobody. All right, these fish have been marinating for about an hour. Lay them on the grill. Ooh. All right, we're gonna give these a flip. Very firm fish. No, no, not much worry of it falling apart while we're, uh, we're grilling it, but don't overcook fish. That's the biggest number one mistake that most people make is the overcooked fish. This fish, just by the texture, I can tell it's gonna be a very dry fish if we overcook it. So, kinda find that happy medium. Usually just a couple minutes per side is enough. All right, these things are ready to come off the grill. All right, let's head inside and, uh, well, see what happens. I didn't use all the teriyaki sauce that I made, so what I did was I put it on the, on the stove with a little bit of cornstarch and water so that I could thicken it up. So here's our glaze going on. Being quite generous with the glaze. Oh, wow, this fish makes me a little nervous. I'm good. You just, uh -uh. I'm just <laughs> yeah, you gotta eat this. <laughs> uh, I'm totally good right here behind the camera. Ew. Ew, it's like it's like pork. I don't even know what it is. It's like not fish. It's not <laughs> anything. And yeah, it didn't even like tear apart. I know that was gross I'm when sure. when you said that, and I realized that I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have a little for audio. Okay, <laughs> little baby <laughs> bite. <laughs> You're gonna take a big bite. Hey, we're doing baby bites. And going all in. All right. Ready? Right. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Hmm. Weird texture. The, the texture is the definitely, definitely weird. odd. Um, I don't think I'm going to continue to eat it, though, because the more I chew it, the more fish it tastes. It's tastes, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's almost like squiddy, isn't it? 
I don't know, maybe that was just the bed I had. <laughs> Jess is tapped out. <laughs> so we didn't show it on camera, but I bled, I bled these out, uh, which is not an attractive thing to show on camera. I think that helped. I, don't, I definitely don't think it hurt, but it is definitely a stronger fish as we kind of imagined with the red. But we will continue to throw them back when we catch them. I mean, it's not like god awful either. Yeah. It's not great, but it's not. The teriyaki sauce is great. The teriyaki <laughs> sauce, I'm pretty sure, may be the only reason that we were able to, yeah, stomach to it. eat it. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gosh. Yeah, so. Mm, Look at how it cuts. It's like. Or it doesn't cut. Or it doesn't cut. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah, if you go with the grain, it's fine, but if you go against the grain, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like really meaty on that end. It is very, it is very dense. Who gets I, fat? I recommend, um, I recommend throwing these back. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would I say. I agree, 100%. <laughs> we gave it a great effort though. So I think Jack Raval, people say definitely trash fish. Definitely trash fish. We, we agree. <laughs> Um, but hey, this is our taste. You guys have your taste. This may be your cup of tea. This may be the greatest fish you've ever had. And by all, and and we are not going to take that away from you. So you can have our share as well. All right, you guys. So the verdict is Blue Runner is a great fish to eat. In our opinions, you know, take it for what it's worth. Jack Raval, not so much. It was a three thumbs down, I think, yeah, on, yeah. Our, on our part, three for three. But overall, we came back from the boat starving. I think it's safe to say none of us are hungry now after the tacos, the ceviche, and this um, tiny bite of Jack Raval on the grill. <laughs> the teriyaki sauce was amazing though. And I just want to remind you guys, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, please comment below what your favorite piece of information or favorite recipe or idea that you got from this video. Would you use that teriyaki? Would you use the taco recipe? Would you never eat this stuff? Is it your favorite? Whatever it is, give a comment below. And remember that you can subscribe to their channel. I'll put a link right here as well as first thing in the description box. Me and Jess and live in the Keys life. And they're here in Big Pine in the Florida Keys and they make some awesome videos. And I'm so glad we were able to get out and fish today and cook. It was a great day. Thank you so much for watching you guys and we'll see you on the next video.